In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful landing page for your membership website coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page using Divi's pre-made layouts. So let's dive in and let me show you how to do that. So over here, I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to download the images that we need for our website. So of course, the different types of membership websites. So you need to decide what your membership website is and then download the images that you need. So I use a few realty free uh, websites. So let's head over here and take a look at some of the sites that I use. So the first one here is Pixabay. This is really good. Uh, all your images here are royalty free, which means you can use them uh, as much as you want without any licensing issues. All right. So let's say our membership website is about cooking. So we can just search for uh, cooking images here and then choose uh, the image that works with this design. So I'm going to go with this one here because I like the fact that over here I have a space where I can add my call to action and a brief description of what my website is about. So this is what you need to do to uh, choose the right images for your website. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and uh, download the right size. So I'm going to come over here. You can see it says free download. Now the size that I normally go with for my hero images is 1920 by 1280. So I'm going to go ahead and download it and then just click download. Okay. I also need to look for other images that complement this. So I'm just going to come over here and see what else I can use. So I may want to use some of these for my background. So I'm going to go with, um, let's see what works here. All right, let's go with this one here. So I'm going to download it. Okay, so these are the two main images that I'm going to use for my site. So now back over here to our main website, we need to go to media and click on add new. So now we just need to add those two images. So I'm going to come over here to choose file. And in my downloads, these are the two images. So I'm going to open that, upload, and I'm going to add the other one. Okay, so these are the two images that I need for my website. Now let's go ahead and create the landing page for our membership site. Okay, so now it's a matter of just adding a brand new page. So I'm going to click here on add new. Now I'm just going to call my page landing one. But of course, this could work as your main landing page. So it's up to you how you're going to have this. You can have people point to a specific landing page or you can have it as the main page of your website. So let's just call this landing. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on use Divi Builder. All right, so for this design, I'm not going to build from scratch because I need to save a lot of time. So I'm going to click here where it says choose a pre-made layout. And we have a lot of pre-made layouts here. So you can see here all these designs are amazing. Now, I want to tell you something very important here. A lot of times when people look at these pre-made layouts, they're looking at them for that specific function. But what people don't realize is you can pretty much use any pre-made layout here. All you have to do is to change the content and this will work fine. So that's what we're going to do here. So as you can see here, we have all these different layouts. So I will just go ahead and choose whatever layout that I need for my landing page and then use that as the main page. So I'm just going to browse through here and see if something catches my eye. I like this one here. In fact, this is food recipes. This could actually work very well. So in fact, let's just uh, go ahead and use this one here. So I'm going to click on use this layout. So what's going to happen now is all the elements of this page are going to be loaded onto my page. And then all I have to do is to go in, change the design, change the colors and change the contents that's on this page. So it's very, very easy to use and very easy to set up. Now, when it comes to the loading time here, it depends with the internet connection, but uh, usually it's, it's pretty fast. Okay, so it looks like everything has gone well and I have this check mark now. So the page will refresh and show you everything on this page. So as you can see here, we have different elements for our page. So now let's start working on our site. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to go into my section settings here, go to background. So we can see here, this is where they added the image. So we want to add our own image. So what you need to do is to click on the image tab, delete this one here, and then click on the plus button. And now we need to find our image that we added earlier on. So I'm gonna scroll down here and this is the one, upload an image. And now you can see our image has been added and it looks beautiful. All right, so now that we have this, I'm going to save that. Next, 
we need to go in and customize this information here and make it ours. So let's start here with uh, this top part. Okay, so this, we're going to uh, rename this to our website. So I'm going to say cooking school. There we go. And then here, I'm just going to leave this text as it is. But I want to show you something quickly here in case you want to use different fonts for your design. So I'm going to go to the, uh, to the design tab. And making sure I click here on this brush tool, it's going to take me to my heading one here. So I can change this font now to something that I, you know, that I really like. And I'm going to go with Monster Rat. And there you go. You can see that this now has changed. And this is how you update your landing page elements. All right. So with that, I'm going to save. I'm going to also come here to the paragraph text, click on design text. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this as well. Now I can see here the size is a bit too big. I can just, you know, drag it down a bit to about 22 and save. Now a featured recipe. Here, I really don't need this. So another way to work with this is to go ahead and delete what you don't need. So I'm just going to highlight over here and then delete it like that. So now you can see it's gone. And this is how you customize a already created pre-made layout with Divi. All right. So now I'm going to work on this button here. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and let's work on the colors. So here on the button, you can see use custom styles for button is already activated. So all I have to do now is to come over here and change my colors. So I've changed my color here and I also need to do the same to the border. And now you can see my color has changed. But uh, you know where it says make this? I don't really like that color. So I'm going to change my text color here to white. And I'm also going to make it bold because I really want it to stand out. So I'm going to come over here. And now you can see it's bold. And I'm also going to increase the size. And let's scroll back to the top here and adjust our size. So we want our button nice and big. So we're going to go with 20 here. So I really like the way it's looking now. And these are the minor tweaks that we can do to our design to make it look like our own design. So as you can see, I've saved a lot of time. I didn't have to come up with a layout that I need for this page. This is working really well for me. All right, so now I can save this. Oh, in fact, you know what? I have said make this. So we can change this text here to memberships. Okay, so this call to action will take them to the memberships page. And over here on the link, this is where you can add your button URL to that main landing page, which has all the pricing options. All right, so now I'm going to save this. Now moving on, you can see here we have trending recipes. Now, to be honest, I don't really like this trending recipes thing because this is a membership website. So it's nothing to do with trending memberships. So what we need to do here is to talk about perhaps maybe the benefits of signing up for this membership. So let's transform this into the benefits. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to the main title and I'm just going to rename this and call this benefits. Okay, let's change the font. I'm going to come back over here. And this is heading two. And I'm just going to choose monster rat. We're going to make it all caps. And uh, the size is a bit too big. Let's bring this down a little bit to about say 24. And we're going to make this bold and let's change the color as well. And we're going to add a bit of letter spacing too. There we go. So I really like sometimes when I'm designing to use letter spacing. Right. So now that I have this, I'm going to change to bold. And now that's looking really, really nice. Okay. So I'm going to save that. And now it's time to change this content over here. So I'm going to replace this with uh, blurbs. So let's see. Here, So here, this is a blurb, but of course, the way it's structured is not how ideally I would like to have this. So let's now use our lorem text. So I'm going to search for lorem 2. So I really like using this because this gives me my dummy text that I need to use for my site. So now I'm going to replace this like that. And so this is where your benefit one would go. Okay. And for our text here, we need to, we might need to go in and customize it a little bit. Now over here, you can either have an image or you can have an icon. So it's up to you how you want to uh, design this, but normally I would go with icons. So I'm going to come over here to image and icon and activate use icon. So here now I can choose the icon that I need for benefit one. So maybe I can go with that. Now, let me stylize this and make it look the way I want. So I'm going to start here with uh, benefit one, and this is heading three. As you can see, let's change our font here to keep everything consistent. We're going to make it all caps. Actually, no. Right. Let's leave it like that. 
change our color here and uh let's make it bold because we really want this to stand out okay so benefit one now we need to adjust the paragraph text as well so it's fine here uh, as monster ad but we need to increase the size a little bit so let's go with uh, perhaps 16 right so okay i like 16 but now as i'm looking at this I really don't like the way uh, the size of the icon, so I may want to go in and make it slightly smaller. All right, so let's make adjustments to our icon here. All right, so to make adjustments to our icon, we need to come over here and then you can either use a circle on the icon here. This is also quite cool. So let's try that and see how this looks. Okay, so now this is our circle and then we can also change the color of our icon that's inside that circle. And now I need to adjust the size. So here we go, icon font size. I can reduce that a little bit to about say 30. And I'm happy with that. I'm gonna save this. Now, I'm gonna also save a lot of time here redesigning this all the time here. So I'm going to delete this, delete the other one here, and then just duplicate this a few times and drag this into position like that and like that. Okay, so now, we have our benefits page all sorted. So next, I'm gonna come over here and work on this little line. So I'm gonna come over here to design and change that line color and save. Okay, so now we have our main hero part of our website. And then over here, we have the benefits of using the site. Now, don't forget, you need to come over here and change the icons themselves because of course, you don't want this to be the same icon. So let's go with uh, this one here. Save that. I'm going to change the other one. Come to image and icon. And this one here is going to be... Right, let's go with uh, this camera here. Okay? And save. All right, so moving on. Here is a part where we can have a bit more information about the course itself. So let's go in and make a few adjustments here as well. So I'm going to use some lorem text here just to save me a lot of time. So I'm just going to copy the heading part. And then I'm going to come over here to design. And I'm just going to target this text here. And this is H2. Now notice that I'm using this brush tool. It is very, very handy. So I'm going to come over here and change to Monster Rat. And look how beautiful that looks now. Next, I'm going to come over here to the paragraph text. Same. I'm going to change this to Monster Rat. And the size, I may want to reduce this a little bit. Maybe 18 will work better. Okay, and then finally, we have this button here. And for consistency sake, I'm going to change the button color here as we did before. And now that looks much better. And all I have to do now is to make this font bold. Great. So now this part here is looking okay. I'm going to save this. And uh, let's find out where that image is. Okay, so I've just deleted the, uh, the image. So now we can go ahead and save. Now this stuff picks, we don't really need that. So all we have to do is to delete it. And here we have a call to action. So again, we can decide to either have it or maybe even uh, remove it altogether. So I'm gonna keep it, but uh, let me just delete what else I don't need here. So this here can go and the newsletter. Do we really need the newsletter? Um, I don't think so. So let's delete the newsletter as well. Okay, great. So now let's just work on this and pretty much we're almost done. So I'm going to go in here now and change this background image. Now remember, we downloaded two images. So now it's time to find our other image, which is this one right here. Upload an image. But what we're going to do now is we're going to do something slightly different here. We don't really want this image really showing like that. So Let's add an effect to this. So I'm going to come over here, add white, come back to the image. And we are going to add a blending mode, which is called lighten. And then all we have to do now is to go back over here to our image and drag the slider down just to reveal that image in the background just ever so slightly. Just like that. Right. I think that looks great. Now I'm going to save this. And then all I have to do now is to come over here and make adjustments to this call to action. So let me start here with this title. So next, I'm going to come over here to design and I'm just going to target this and change my font to Monster Rat. Reduce the size a little bit because it's a bit too much. 
There we go. So I'll go 26 and I'm also going to change the color here. Maybe go with a much darker color like that and then save. And then next, I need to target this paragraph text here and also change the text to monster ad. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and reduce the size as well. There we go. I think that's, that's looking really nice now. Finally, I need to work on the button here. So I can just go over here to the button and click here on my module settings. And I can leave it as learn more, but you can change it to whatever you want. And also you have your link here. I'm just going to add a blank one. And now it's time to go to design button and let's change our colors one more time. So our button text is going to be white. So it stands out on the dark background. And then over here, I just need to change the colors of the button and make it bold. So over here, I'm going to change this to bold. And now you can see that this is looking really, really nice. Okay. So all I have to do now is to save. And pretty much we now have our landing page for our cooking membership website. So as you can see, this was really straightforward to do. I know uh, this could take a bit of time, but surely if you were to start this from scratch, you would spend even more time. So as you can see, I didn't need to worry about all the uh, mobile views because if we take a look at this website, everything is all optimized because it's a pre-made layout. So let's switch over here and see what it looks like on a mobile device. So as you can see here, everything is in place. It's laid out correctly. And this works beautifully on pretty much any type of screen. So let's go over here to the phone. And again, if I scroll back here to the phone, you can see everything is, is nice. It's easy to read and it is great on all mobile devices. So this layout design here can be used pretty much on any type of website. So I'm going to have this available for you to download and use, but be aware that this only works with Divi. So it only works with Divi. You do need to have Divi installed for you to use this pre-made layout. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.